Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install DeepSeq on an Apple Silicon Mac. So DeepSeq, of course, is the open source large language model, which is completely free to use in this local version, and it doesn't require connection to the internet. It can basically run on any Mac quite easily. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install the terminal command version of DeepSeq, and also how to get a user-friendly chat box app working as well. You're not gonna require any kind of complicated technical skills to get this to work. It's actually very simple. We're just gonna install two applications and run a couple of commands in terminal and if you follow this tutorial step by step, then pretty much any kind of user is gonna be able to get this running on an Apple Silicon Mac. And it's gonna be a nice alternative to something like ChatGPT, which basically costs money and needs the internet to run. This can run locally on your Mac and it's completely free. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to go to the olama.com website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Here we're gonna press the download button and we're gonna download the Mac version of this software. So we can press this download for Mac OS and that's gonna start downloading, press allow, and it's gonna download and put this into our finder. So we're gonna to go to finder and then go to our downloads folder. And then we're gonna find our alama-darwin.zip, just double click. And then we're gonna drag and drop this into our applications folder, then let go. And then within applications under finder, we're gonna go and scroll down and find Alama. And we're gonna double click on this and it's gonna open up. So it's saying it's an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open? Press open. So this is now opening. I'm just going to minimize these screens. Press next. And uh, we need to install the command line Alama. So press install here. And then we're going to type in our Mac's password. So that's the password that you use to log into your Mac. Press OK. And then here it's saying that we need to run our first model. So what we're going to do is to click this copy button. And it's going to copy this command into our clipboard. So then what we need to do is click on the top right hand side, the spotlight search, and then we're gonna search for terminal, and we're gonna open up our terminal window. And basically we're gonna paste that command here. So just control click paste or command V, and press return, and then it's starting to install the Olama uh, software. So that's going to uh, allow us to run the command to download DeepSeek next. So press finish here, and then just let this terminal window run, and it's saying here how much time you have left. So just 45 seconds, we'll just wait for that to finish. While we're looking at that, we can also just check on login items. It's saying here that login items include the Alama. So this is gonna be important if you want Alama to run every time your computer runs. So you can remove this or add this if you want to. So once that's installed, we're also gonna to go to the Alama website and we're gonna type in a search for DeepSeek. So there's multiple versions of DeepSeek. I'm gonna press view all. The one that everyone's excited about is this one here called DeepSeek R1. The new version that's gonna run really well on Apple Silicon Macs especially. So click on this, and then what we need to do is to select our version. So these are the different sizes of the model. The higher the size, the more resources it's gonna take, but the more accurate, but the more accurate the results are gonna be. So make sure you choose appropriately. I'm just gonna use the basic one here, 7B, but if you have a more powerful Mac with more RAM and more unified memory, then you can go ahead and choose the larger ones as well. So here I'm gonna select 7B, and then we're gonna press this copy button here and this is gonna run the Alama terminal command. So just minimize this. So what I'm gonna do here is just close the terminal window and then we're gonna open it up again, just to start a new one. I'm gonna command V and then paste that command, Alama run DeepSeek. It's gonna start downloading that 4.7 gigabyte file. So the speed of this is gonna depend on how fast your internet is. Just wait for that to finish, we've got a minute here. So now that that's fully downloaded, we're within the prompt now and we can actually start talking to DeepSeek straight away. So we can say, hi, how are you? And then you can ask it, um, what do you think of Taiwan? And uh, once we're done with this, we can press forward slash buy and then that's gonna quit out of that. And if you wanna run it again, just run Alama, run DeepSeek with that same command, and you'll be back into the prompt. So we can go ahead and use that. Now, if you want a more user-friendly way to access uh, DeepSeek, then you can install a free chat application, which is gonna help manage the user interface for this. So we're gonna go to Safari here, and we're gonna go to Chatbox AI app. So I'll leave a link to this in the description, so chatboxai.app. And then because we've loaded this on macOS, it's detected that we have the Mac version that we want to download. So we're going to download the Apple Silicon version since I'm using an Apple Silicon Mac. 
and then that's going to download and then just wait for that to download. Here, yeah, click allow. That's downloading. Here, we're going to go to finder, go to downloads and we'll open up chat box arm 64. We'll drag and drop this into the applications folder. And then within applications, we're going to find our chat box, double click. And uh, we're going to press open here. And now chat box is open here. So in order to configure this, we don't need to pay for anything here. We're going to be using a local model. We're going to select the Olama API. And we're going to select the model provider. So we're going to be using the Olama API. So make sure that one's selected. Here we can choose the model itself that's within the Olama app. So here we have the DeepSeek R17B. So we're going to select that one and we're going to press save. And then here we're going to start typing in. So what model are you? So this is DeepSeek R1. You can ask a question, something like, uh, what do you think of Taiwan? So it's giving us like a handy user interface for interacting with DeepSeek R1 here. And uh, it's formatting everything and it's a bit more ChatGPT like in its interface structure. And uh, just to prove to you that this isn't working online, I can go into my system settings here. And if I go to my network, I'm just gonna disable my internet here. So just make an active. And then I can also show activity monitor. You can kind of see the history of the GPU by clicking on this window button under activity monitor, looking at GPU history. And uh, this is the M3 Max chip. So it's quite a powerful computer and uh, it's actually being utilized when we do any kind of the question asking here. So it's all done locally on our GPU. So what, what's the weather like today? So here you can see a bit of activity here. So um, we're gonna ask it to do something like write a 1000 word essay about our Mac gaming. <laughs> So you can see here, there's a bit of GPU usage and you can see the GPU is being hammered quite a lot. So here we've got a little bit of a summary of um, our Mac gaming, the vibrant subreddit. And you can see the GPU is being used here. So we're not connected to the internet at all and it's all working locally. <laughs> let's let's uh, ask it to do something else. Roast our Mac gaming in 500 words. <laughs> let's see what it says. I think our Mac gaming is subreddit dedicated to Minecraft, especially for Windows users. Really? <laughs> now roasting. Okay, let's. It's starting. It's uh, it's buying time here. Our Mac gaming, a vibrant online community dedicated to Minecraft enthusiasts on Windows, has garnered a reputation of hosting heated debates and toxic interactions. While it serves as a hub for sharing tips, discussing mods, and showcasing builds, the subreddit's dynamic often reflects its user personalities. <laughs> It's lack of moderation. I'm a moderator on Armac Gaming. Okay, so that is DeepSeek working on the Apple Silicon Mac. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.